Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Philippe Defrang, and I'll be your master of ceremony for this afternoon. I heard some, from some of co-chair that you had great meeting this morning, lots of good input into the, the, the coming work for, the, for 2023. I would like first to talk to people in the room, then I'll talk to you guys who are sitting at home or in the offices. People in the room, please pull out your phone. Inez, your phone. Everybody, your phone. I want to see phone. Select the camera. Select the camera. And point to the QR code on the table. Very important you do that, OK? Because let, this is just a test, a rehearsal, because this afternoon we will ask you a very important question. People at home, it's easier. You look at the right side of your screen, and it's all there. You answer the question. We look at the result in a minute. While you do that, I go quickly through the program, Bert. So we'll first have Kostas Macelos, the Berek Chair 2023, talking about the outline of the work program and the process that will lead to the option of the program at the end of the year. Then we'll have a Q&A with Kostas and Anne-Marie Sipkas, the standing uh, Berek Chair. So get your question ready. Get your question ready. I'm not going to ask the question, so it's your job, OK? After that, we'll have Roberto Viola to discuss the digital decade. Again, Roberto will keep it short, so the onus is on you to ask the question. Then we'll have uh, a session on AI, very important question on AI, with Vice President Eva Cayley from the Parliament. Then you'll, deserve, you'll have a well-deserved coffee break. We'll continue with a fascinating panel on DMA, then we'll discuss sustainability with Ilsa from Vic, and then finally there will be a wrap-up by Kostas, and you will have your well-deserved cocktail. cocktail. Uh, among the things I need to tell you is that, you know, I hope you will walk away this evening with new ideas, food for thought, Bert, but also more tangible goods. If you open the white box, you know, you will find uh, stop waffles, from, from the Netherlands, which I understand are made of caramel and other good stuff. And if you are, if you are gluten-free, I know there are quite a few gluten-free, I rather suggest you go for the Greek candy, which is a pastelli. It's a mix of a sesame seams and other, other good stuff. There is, also, there is also a nice metaphor for our debate. It's a 3D jigsaw puzzle. I, even I managed to break it down, you know, try it, try it, you know, if you're a bit nervous of what being said, you know, it's, it's good to play with your nerves. I didn't manage to put it back, but uh, Ilse from Berg knows how to do it, so if you catch her by the, by the end of the afternoon, she will explain you. I hope I'm not forgetting anything fundamental. Yeah, let's look at the result of the Slido. Result of the Slido, no? It's not on screen, nobody has answered or what? Where do you come from? Belgium. So everybody is from Belgium here. Ah, it's coming. Germany, Portugal, France, good. Munich, so Munich is a country. Now, I always knew there was something about Bavaria, you know, but. <laughs> uh, Scotland, ah, that's, that's a more serious one. <laughs> anyway, I'll let you, I'll let you discover. Um, no, I think on this, while, you, while we, we complete uh, Romania, the barrack office, the barrack office, uh, you would expect a few people from Riga with us, with us today. Uh, well, I'll let you discover the rest of the participants, and without further ado, I will introduce Kostas Macelos, Berek Chair 2023, but you know that the Berek Chair the following year always organized the forum of the previous year, and EETT chairman. I'll continue because I see he's not quite ready. I read it. Okay. Costas, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you, Philippe, for the thorough introduction and for um, making our participants familiar with the process we will use to interact. Uh, good afternoon. Welcome to Berek Stakeholder Forum. Uh, 2022. It is really great to be among you today and many thanks for your interest in Stakeholder Forum. Um, for Berek, the Stakeholder Forum is a key event because it's uh, strongly linked 
to a launch of a call for input for work program of next year. It is also a great opportunity to deepen the dialogue with our stakeholders. And we count a lot on this dialogue because we expect to receive input, ideas, proposals, food for thought, in order to set up a work program ambitious, relevant, and well-balanced for next year. Um, it is really nice that we managed to have this event today, this forum today, physically in Brussels. Of course, we support remote participation, but we have been working quite a lot with digital media the last two years to cope with pandemic and the challenges we faced in order to make sure that uh, smooth collaboration continues and the work uh, is done. When we came back in uh, October 2021 for the stakeholder forum in the same room, we realized how valuable it is to have this close contact and uh, exchange and discussions. So it is really great that we managed to do this uh, forum today physically again. Now, back to the main topic, work program 2023 of BEREC. The work has already started and the outline of the work program has been adopted in January by the Board of Regulators. In the next slides, I will explain the process and the different steps we will use in order to uh, reach the final adoption of the work program in December and also explain what do we expect from our stakeholders, from, from you. The main input for designing the work program 2023 is, of course, the BEREC strategy. In, back in 2021, we adopted a strategy for the period 2021-2025. And this strategy includes three main strategic priorities. First, to promote full connectivity. Second, to support sustainable and open digital markets. And third, the empowerment of end users. So these are the three directions across which our work program will be structured. With regards to the first priority, promoting full connectivity, BEREC has to contribute to the speed up of the deployment of uh, fiber networks of 5G, and we should, of course, support the European Digital Decade 2030 uh, objective of reaching one gigabit per second connectivity for each European household by 2030 and 100% population coverage for 5G with 5G until 2030. Second, second priority, uh, supporting sustainable and open digital markets. BEREC prioritizes work that relates to the good functioning of digital markets. Digital economy brings both opportunities and challenges, and we want to contribute to ensuring that the relevant regulatory framework integrates the required technological, economic, legal, and user protection perspectives. And then the third priority of empowerment, the end users. In a fast evolving digital ecosystem, digital innovation and competition among digital service providers has improved consumer empowerment. However, there is still an important role for regulators to play in ensuring consumer transparency and digital skills. Our work program for 2023, as also happened for in previous years, will be structured along four different elements. First element, mandatory projects, projects stemming from the regulatory framework from the legislation. For example, European Electronic Communications Code call for, in certain cases, for opinion and guidelines from BEREC. So we will have eight such projects in work program 2023. Second, second element, carryover projects. We have projects started in 2022 that will, be, that will continue in 2023. And we will have eight such projects in work program 2023. Third, we have projects that contribute to the work of our members in terms of quality and efficiency. These are projects we expect to undertake to contribute to the further harmonization of regulation in Europe and to the quality of work. We expect to have four such projects in Work Programme 2023. For all these projects, we can consider different types of work. We can have reports, we can have workshops, we can have studies, depending on, on the topic. 
There is the fourth element of the work program, which I call future work, or maybe additional projects. But in my opinion, in the design of the work program, this is maybe the most important part, because this is quite open. So we can consider different proposals in any, di in any direction, of course, under the constraint that is in line with our strategic priorities. And we can allocate, as it happened in previous years, up to 30% of our resources for this type of projects. But if we want to address future challenges, this is the part of the work program we can use to prioritize what we want to address looking at the future. The telecom sector continues to make progress in augmenting network capacity with additional wireline and wireless deployments to meet the constant demand for higher speed networks. We see an emerging set of issues and opportunities presented by a dynamic regulatory, technological, and competitive environment that may influence the sector's progress in the following years. Information, at the same time, we see information and communication technologies converging more and more, and the lines between the I and the C of ICT blurring more and more. So our role as regulators is to identify and timely address relevant challenges. Future work projects, the fourth element of our work program, will cover this uh, direction. Now, with regards to the process of receiving your input, we expect to have your input by email by the 15th of April. And uh, if you want to help us, please submit your, your input, your contribution in a four uh, point format you can already see in the slide. So when you send your contribution, make sure that you include a title, the strategic priority addressed by your contribution, a short description, and uh, of course your contact details. Um, this would help us quite a lot to, to process your input. Our main message to you uh, while expecting your input, be innovative and look at the future. Now, the next steps with regards to the work program 2023 uh, uh, preparation. We will collect your inputs by the, 15, uh, by the 15th of April and we will start processing and analyzing them. And at the same time, we'll do the same uh, for the inputs we will receive from BEREC members and uh, from BEREC experts, of course. The aim is to prepare draft work program that will be adopted for consultation in the beginning of October. This is going to be another chance for our stakeholders to give uh, our input in a more mature phase of the work program. Then we will re receive again inputs, analyze and prepare the final version of the work program to be adopted in December 2022 and then start working on it. And I would like to repeat that for us, our stakeholders play a critical role in shaping a high quality work program and we're indeed looking forward to receiving your ideas and proposals and be in a kind of continuous interaction towards the final adoption of the work program. I think that's all from me at this stage. Um, thank you so much for, for the attention and now I would like to invite uh, Berek Chairwoman 2022, Anne-Marie Sipkes of ACM, the Dutch regulator, and Philippe, our moderator, on stage for the Q&A part of this uh, session, which is, in my opinion, the most interesting one, and I'm really looking forward to it. Thank you.